Ever pondered who was drafted with the 239th pick in the NFL over the last decade? Well, let's dive into the annals of NFL draft history and unearth these hidden gems. Starting from 2014, the Cincinnati Bengals drafted James Wright, a wide receiver from LSU. Wright's selection marked the beginning of a decade-long tradition of discovering talent in the later stages of the draft. Moving along to 2015, the Pittsburgh Steelers chose Jared Holloman, a free safety from Louisville. Next up in 2016 was the Indianapolis Colts' selection of Trevor Bates, a linebacker from Maine. 2017 brought a new face to the Dallas Cowboys. They drafted wide receiver Noah Brown from Ohio State. Following this, in 2018, the Green Bay Packers picked Hunter Bradley, a long snapper from Mississippi State. As the decade neared its end, the Minnesota Vikings in 2019 drafted Dylan Mitchell, a wide receiver from Oregon. The following year, in 2020, the Buffalo Bills picked Dane Jackson, a cornerback from Pittsburgh. The year 2021 saw the Denver Broncos drafting Jonathan Cooper, a defensive end from Ohio State. Then, in 2022, the Indianapolis Colts returned to the 239th pick, drafting Rodney Thomas II, a defensive back from Yale. In the most recent draft year, 2023, the Los Angeles Chargers selected Max Dugan, a quarterback from TCU, wrapping up a decade of the 239th draft pick history. So to summarize, over the last 10 drafts, wide receivers have been selected three times while defensive backs have been selected twice at number 239. The New Orleans Saints interestingly have not selected at 239th in the past 10 years. This journey through the 239th pick over the last decade showcases the depth and variety of talent in the NFL drafts. Each year teams scout for potential stars and sometimes, these late round picks turn out to be the hidden gems they were looking for. The 239th pick therefore is a testament to the unpredictable and exciting nature of the NFL draft.